Okay, the best way to set goals, um, I think, is to, first of all, hit the pause button in life and just take that time out. Um, why is that? Because when you do that, you begin to kind of get in touch with your inner self a bit more and you're more likely to set goals that are true for, for you uh, and for your life. Um, if you don't do that, you'll probably end up picking a random set of goals that are oftentimes based on what you think you should be doing rather than what you want to be doing. So that's the first thing I'd say. Um, a second thing I'd say is, you know, apart from thinking about it, it's really important to actually document your thinking. Um, so you actually essentially just means writing stuff down. Um, now there's various different, how do you call it, worksheets and stuff that we would utilize to help people kind of draw out the overarching goals, if you want, for their life and for their business this year, and then actually drilling it down, chunking it down a bit more into kind of quarterly goals and all that kind of stuff. So I think it's a combination of reflection and then documentation. But then there's another third element there, which is really about programming. And um, what we're talking about here, it sounds a bit woo-woo, but it's, it's quite basic. And every, every sportsman, every business guy, everyone who's successful in their life, every rock star, everyone you probably idolize at some level does this, and probably at a very big level, whether they know it or not. And that is essentially programming your unconscious mind, which sounds crazy, but basically it means actually um, overriding conscious thought, finding ways of bringing up your goal big inside your mind, using all the representation systems, getting it in there so that when you actually wake up in the morning, it's your conscious drives, or sorry, your unconscious mind driving your everyday conscious activity. It does it anyway. What most people probably don't realize is that even though they might make conscious decisions to do things such as lose weight, etc., unconsciously, if there's a program in there that actually kind of sabotages that, that will override your conscious activity. So it's really important that we put the right type of programs into our unconscious mind.